National Poison Prevention Week starts this Sunday. And joining us now to talk more about what everybody out there needs to know about poison prevention, it is my honor to introduce Amy Hanoi and Fontana. Good Thank morning. You. Nice to meet you. Amy is a specialist at the Connecticut Poison Control Center at the Yukon Health Center. So thank you so much. You are one of the best experts we need to talk to. Um, there's so many different areas of poisoning that we can talk about that you're probably mm -hmm. not thinking of because when I hear poison control and poison control week, I'm still thinking of little kids getting into things under the cabinets and right. th that is a worry, but uh, th there's a lot more to it than that, isn't it? Certainly. Uh, certainly most of our poisoning calls at the Connecticut Poison Control Center are for kids under six. However, they tend to make out really well. They take a lick, a taste, or a touch of something, and they're usually okay, nine times mm. out of ten. Now, who we're more worried about are adults, uh, teens, young adults, older adults, and elderly. They tend to make bigger mistakes. Bigger mistakes. Bigger mistakes. Sometimes self-inflicted. Sometimes uh, self-harm, suicidal um, in, you know, intentions, or even medication errors, or carbon monoxide accidents. Okay, uh, and what do we need people to understand as far as how to prevent this? So I guess 90% of, uh, of the poisonings can be prevent, well not prevented, but dealt with without having to go to the hospital, uh, which sometimes people people are a little wary of. Maybe they've ingested a drug that they shouldn't right. have ingested. So when the public calls the poison center, we help them immediately with their poisoning. We tell them exactly what to do to decontaminate and to treat over the phone. Now, if you need to go to the hospital, we'll help you get there, we'll help you do that. But 90% of the people that call, the public that calls, we keep them at home. We save a lot of time, a lot of headaches, and a lot of health care dollars. And I don't know about you, but I don't want to go to the <laughs> hospital unless I absolutely have to. We're talking about billions of dollars, you yes. can say. Billions of dollars. So we need to drill home that phone number. This is, and you may remember this phone number. I want to show this because we're talking about little kids getting under cabinets. Do you remember Mr. Yuck? That old sticker that you used to have to put up there is Mr. Yuck. You'd put those on uh, different household cleaning chemicals to let your kids know not to touch them. But the phone number, even back in the day, was the same, and it hasn't changed. 1-800-222-1222. Uh, what can people expect if they if they call? You know, uh, to try to get them to call. Well, when they call, we you know we'll give them that immediate treatment advice. But I think the key is to have the number at the ready, um, and that's where the Count Me In campaign comes in. We want to make sure that people are counted and can program or add that phone number to their phone, whether it's their mobile phones mm -hmm. or their home phones or whatnot. If you have the number at the ready, then you're able in that kind of crisis moment yeah. to dial it very quickly because it's already saved in your contacts. And if you go on our Facebook page or our website at poisoncontrol.uchc.edu, you can uh, click the button that says that, yes, I programmed my phone with the, with the poison help number today. And you you may think out there that you could remember that number now, but once you get into a crisis, you'd be surprised what you can't do. Even dialing the phone itself can be hard. Uh, there's a contest going on. Why don't you tell us about that? There is. We have a lovely um, Connecticut um, National Poison Prevention Week video contest. It's for Connecticut residents. It's open to kids, adults, doesn't really matter the age. Mm -hmm. We want people to take very short videos, 30 seconds to three minutes. You could do it on your cell phone, a flip cam, whatever. Um, go to our website website you can uh, download the complete contest rules and um, then upload your video to YouTube and share it with us and then we're going to pick a winner so we want things like um, you know if you've had a positive experience with the poison center or maybe some kind of poison prevention tip mm -hmm. that you've learned yourself at your own home or maybe a positive uh, you know past experience of calling the poison center or um, you know just even you programming your phone with the poison help number that will anything work. and you saw the website right there on your screen the deadline by the way is March 21st. Thank you so much for taking the time, Amy. You're welcome, Tim. Thank you. Have a good day.